WordPress doesn't restrict you to only upload images to your site. You can also upload other types of media content and even embed external media content directly into your site without actually copying it and pasting it in. If you click on the add media button, you can see that in addition to image files, which are allowed like JPEGs, GIFs, and PNGs, you can also upload PDF documents, PowerPoint presentations, and many other types of document files. When you do so, what will happen is, instead of the image displaying, you'll see a link that points directly to the file you've uploaded. So through this, you can share PDF files and other types of documents with people who visit your site. If you buy the space upgrade or the video upgrade, you can also upload large audio and video files directly to WordPress.com that will then be playable from within WordPress.com itself. But that's not the only type of content you can add. And let me show you this by creating a new post. So I'm going to close this for now, click add new to create a new post. And I'll call this post O embed examples. Now I'm going to paste in a tweet and a YouTube video. So first I need to place my cursor where I want the tweet to appear. Then I'll click on add media, select insert tweet from the dropdown. And then I can either search for a tweet through all of Twitter. I can search based on a hashtag. I can go and look for a specific user or to a specific user. And I can even look for a specific location. So here I'm going to type in evil more 10 because I know one of my friends just posted a tweet about me. Here it is. Now I can select the tweet, click insert into post. All that happens is the URL to that tweet appears in my post. And you'll notice this is not a link. It's just the URL itself. When I save this as a draft and click preview, you'll see something magical happen. WordPress.com goes to Twitter, pulls out the tweet and displays it as it's displayed on Twitter.com, but in my WordPress.com site. And because this is from Twitter, I can now follow John if I want to, I can follow the hashtags, go directly to the link, and I can also reply to the tweet, retweet it, and even favorite it right from within my WordPress.com site. The same thing can happen with YouTube. If I hit return again here, and click add media again, go to insert YouTube. From here, I can search for 12x12yvr, which is a hashtag on YouTube. Here I find all the videos from the 12 by 12 Vancouver Photo Marathon. And here I can select the video like this time-lapse and click insert into post. Again, what you see is actually happening is we're just getting the URL to the specific video we're looking for. Save the draft, preview the post, and now you'll see the tweet at the top and then a playable version of the video below. Now, of course, this means you don't actually have to use the add media button to make this happen. All you have to do to add content from OEmbed supported sources, like Wikipedia, like Vimeo, like YouTube, like SoundCloud, and like Twitter, is to simply find the URL to that specific item. Let's say this tweet, copy the URL, paste it in anywhere where you want it to display. And like I said, when you paste it in, it becomes a link and you need to click on it and break the link save the draft and preview the post and that tweet will appear. So now the next time you write an article about a specific tweet or you want to reference a tweet, all you have to do is go to twitter.com, find the tweet in question, copy the URL to it and paste it directly in. And WordPress.com's built-in O-embed handling will handle the actual display of that content.